Twin flame love is one of the most intense experiences we can have on the planet in a singular lifetime. When we meet our twin flame, more than likely we will not feel ready from a physical human perspective. We will feel intense love. We will feel as though we are broken open to the depths of capacity for feeling within us, taken in a sense all the way from our wounded inner child which lives within the deepest parts of our subconscious to the heights of our most self-actualized and highest vibrational version of self and everything in between. Twin flame love is very different from the kind of fairy tale romance love that we are presented with in movies. And in fact, when many people think of a soulmates of an ideal life partnership situation, what they would describe would not be the twin flame dynamic, but would actually be a romantic soulmate dynamic. And this is because there are many key differences between twin flame love, the way in which our twin flame loves us and we love them, and soulmate love. These are both two very valid and beautiful types of love connection and yet very different and they serve very different purposes in our lives. So in today's video, I've narrowed down those key differences between twin flame love and soulmate love into five major ways that twin flames love us differently than our soulmates. But before I get into the video, I want to introduce myself for anyone who is new here. My name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. If you are new to this channel and you resonate with the concept of twin flames or you are on this twin flame journey. I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. An added benefit to subscribing is that when I do channel my reading videos, I'm able to pick up on your energy after you subscribe much more easily so I can actually bring forth more relevant video topic content and also more accurate reading videos for you in the future as well. So let's dive right into the first key way that twin flames and soulmates love differently. And this is a twin flame will awaken us but a soulmate will support us. Now, of course, from one perspective, both connections support us just in different ways. Our twin flame supports the ultimate and most fast-tracked expansion of our spiritual self, our soul, which as we know, those of us who have experienced a twin flame meeting and the spiritual awakening that naturally goes along with this twin flame journey as well, we know that spiritual awakening is not always a comfortable process. So while meeting a twin flame and interacting with our twin flame will always support our soul from the perspective of society or from people around us, they may judge our twin flame as not being supportive in 3D at certain points in time. And we'll get into why it can appear this way between twin flames in a later point. But needless to say, a twin flame will energetically naturally support our spiritual growth. They will spark within us this fire that never goes out. They will, through radiating our core soul frequency back to us, 
they will reactivate that frequency in a more powerful way within ourselves. We call this process a kind of energy merge that takes place between twin flames, which if you are a musician, you could think of this as the re-attunement, the retuning of your being to your natural core soul frequency because we are mistuned. We are tuned away from that natural soul frequency, that frequency of pure, unconditional love, of true authenticity, of commitment to our soul's identity above the human identity that the ego has constructed. But very often through the process of reattunement, getting back to that core soul frequency, it involves the deconstruction of many aspects of our self, our life that may have been out of alignment with that highest frequency, that highest version of ourselves. Now, in contrast, a soulmate will support us wherever we are, meaning they will support us in 3D wherever we are at whatever phase we're at so if we connect with a soulmate when we are unawakened as a soul in this incarnation soulmates unawakened can still remain together and in fact depending on your unique soul blueprint for this incarnation you may not well, not you listening to this podcast because you, if you are drawn to this material, are one of the awakened ones, one of those who chose to awaken in this lifetime. But someone out there could potentially choose to not wake up spiritually in this lifetime. And yet, they could remain connected with a soulmate and feel supported at that level of spiritual unawakenedness for life. Equally, a soulmate will support us at any stage of our spiritual journey. So even after we fully spiritually awakened, we can still beautifully connect with our soulmates whether it's platonic soulmates, romantic soulmates, and they will support us at that phase of our journey. It's just that they will not trigger that awakening within us. Simply meeting a twin flame, simply encountering a twin flame in a conscious way and feeling that energy will naturally awaken us. And that is part of what makes this twin flame connection so profound and so unique. The second way that twin flames love differently is our twin flame will mirror us, but a soulmate will complement us. So a twin flame is because they share our core soul frequency, they are our energetic mirror, so to speak. They can't help but reflect back to us everything dynamically in real time that is occurring within our energy field. Now, of course, the way in which this energy can manifest itself might look differently from one counterpart to the next between the so-called divine masculine and divine feminine. The way that these energy patterns that are mirrored manifest physically may look different. So for example, a blockage in the heart center may be mirrored between a masculine and feminine twin flame set of counterparts. But in this example for the masculine, this heart blockage may manifest as pursuing relationships with karmic partners, karmic feminines who allow him to play out his own avoidant behavior comfortably without being confronted. Whereas for a divine feminine mirroring that heart blockage, she might find herself struggling to attract a partner at all or struggling to date or get close to anyone because of the same heart chakra energy blockage shared between them. But again, it is just showing up in different ways. So do bear that in mind as well. By the way, if you are a twin flame, if you are on this journey, this is a very energetically intense journey, as you know. 
There is constantly energy moving, mirroring between yourself and this other soul. And this can feel very overwhelming at times to the physical body, the energy body, and the emotional body, the body at all of its layers. So I do really recommend a daily energy clearing, energy hygiene ritual. And specifically for you, I've created a twin flame, seven chakra clearing, subliminal meditation. Now, this is so powerful for twin flames because as we've been saying, you do share the same energy field with your twin flame. There is a shared energy kind of chakra center for each of the seven chakras between the two of you. So when one of you does the work and heals the blockages, heals those wounded patterns, the other twin subconsciously, but in a very real way, feels and responds to those shifts in your own energy. And subliminals are particularly powerful for this kind of energy shifting work because they contain unconscious affirmations that are embedded with another frequencies, tones, and sounds that are capable of bypassing the conscious mind, sinking down to the subconscious mind, and deeply rewriting those subconscious patterns, which it's actually the subconscious mind that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes to in our life. So subliminals are just a really powerful tool for reprogramming your subconscious mind, magnetizing your energy for whatever you desire, including these twin flame energy shifts. And this subliminal will over time help you to clear out blockages, preventing you from holding the frequency of unconditional love, which magnetizes to you not only greater connection between yourself and your twin in the physical world, greater more open communication, but also will magnetize to you love, positive attention, success, etc. from a heart-centered state of being because unconditional love is the most powerful force on the planet. So this subliminal comes from my website, soundandsoulful.com, which as you can see on the screen, on this website, I have over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. And you can try out this twin flame seven chakra clearing or any of the more than 100 subliminals I've created completely free for seven days. You can even create your own custom private playlists when you sign up for a free trial account on my website. And all of that information is linked for you in the pinned comment and description box under this video. So thirdly, the third way that twin flames love differently than soulmates is that your twin flame will trigger your wounds for the purpose of bringing them to the light of your consciousness. Whereas your soulmate will allow you to live comfortably with these wounds buried. In other words, a soulmate Although they might trigger you slightly here and there as you have typical relationship 3D issues and arguments occasionally as is to be expected in any love connection, they will come nowhere near to triggering you in the way that a twin flame does when one or both of you is in this wounded energetic state of being. And the reason twin flames trigger you is not to cause you pain or to cause you hurt. That would be more so a karmic relationship dynamic. Someone who is intentionally trying to harm you, to hurt you, to cause you pain would be a karmic partner. And these tend to manifest as very negative relationship dynamics where we are connected to another person based on mutual wounding. So for example, if you have a wound of low self-worth, you might connect with a narcissistic karmic partner who has a tendency to prey on your sense of low self-worth and cause you to play out those limiting beliefs and to live in them. And that is what connects the two of you together. It's the absolute opposite for twin flames. The triggering occurs because your twin flame will not allow you to remain in, to live in those old, limiting, outdated belief systems and patterns while remaining connected fully with them in the physical 3D world. 
world. So this is where the running and chasing tends to happen between twin flames because twin flames are incapable of remaining 3D fully connected in a harmonious way while either of them is carrying significant blockages within their energy. Now, of course, this isn't about perfectionism. I did see a comment on a recent Instagram post asking me about how it was possible to ever reunite with a twin flame because of course we are human and we naturally have these blocks that come up from time to time and i thought this was a really profound question and something i wanted to address as well in this video by saying that it's truly not about perfection it's about consistency there is always a lag time when it comes to manifestation. So there is the energy which builds a momentum over time and it builds and builds and builds to a point where, uh, where ultimately it manifests in our physical worlds or in this case in our relationships. It isn't like you have a self-limiting thought and then instantaneously if you're in union with your twin flame, you separate. This is all about deep-seated patterns. Twin flames are capable of harmoniously and consistently connecting with each other in what we tend to refer to as a reunion state when they are accountable to addressing their blockages and wounds as they come up to prevent themselves from getting stuck in a new limiting pattern over the course of time. Again, it's all about consistency and that commitment to growth and to self-accountability along our spiritual journey that makes harmonious connection with a twin flame possible over the course of time. If that is something that we desire to co-create with our twin flame in the physical worlds, but regardless, our soulmate will allow us just like I said earlier, they will stay with us and support us at whatever level we are at. If we lock a bunch of our wounding in a closet and we get mad at anyone metaphorically whenever they touch the handle of the door, our soulmate will just never go near the closet and the two of us can happily live in every other part of the house without ever opening that locked closet door that contains all of our deep subconscious wounding we might not be addressing or that we might be ignoring. On the other hand, you invite your twin flame right into your metaphorical house and they will go straight to the closet, unlock it, open it, and the avalanche of everything you've buried and shoved in there will come out. They cannot do otherwise. They are forcing you to clean out the closet. Now, of course, this is a very loose metaphor, but you get the point. Soulmates can live happily and harmoniously together regardless of how much wounding they might be storing subconsciously, energetically. However, a twin flame will trigger any of those points of wounding as they come up in order to accelerate your soul growth by accelerating your consciousness of your own formerly subconscious negative and limiting thought patterns. Which really leads me into the fourth way that twin flames and soulmates are different. And this is our twin flame always wants the best for our soul. Whereas our soulmate always wants the best for our human physical self. Now, of course, there can be some overlap here. It's not mutually exclusive. It's just about what is prioritized in each of these connections. So yes, a twin flame can and often does also want the best for us physically in the 3D world. They want us to be happy, to feel fulfilled, but more than that, they want us as a priority to be reaching our highest soul's purpose, to be doing whatever we truly came here to do as a soul, to be living to our soul's highest potential, to be committing to our highest self-growth as a person here incarnated on earth. Whereas our soulmate prioritizes our 3D comforts, our human 
happiness, so to speak. And those of you who are twin flames will understand this dynamic, but this is highly complex. Again, it goes back to the fact that our twin flame will trigger this awakening, which can often come with periods of time that are very uncomfortable to our human self, but ultimately are nourishing our soul to the highest degree possible. On the other hand, our soulmates will never push us to do anything or to face anything that might cause temporary 3D discomfort, even if that temporary discomfort would lead us down the highest path, the fast track, the highway to everything that we've ever truly desired in our life or in many lifetimes in the eternity of our soul. And finally, the fifth way that twin flames and soulmates love differently. And this is one of the most challenging dynamics of all. This is that our twin flame can only love us as much as we are willing to love ourselves, whereas our soulmate can love us more than we love ourselves. However, there is also a nuance on this as well that's a bit more difficult to put into physical human words, but the depth of love between a twin flame can be absolutely purely unconditional, completely without conditions. It can go straight to the absolute core of our being in a way that soulmate love can't do. Soulmate love cannot penetrate all the way to that core quite simply because our soulmates share a similar core soul frequency, but the frequency is not identical. So they can connect with us on a very profound level, but not to the very core of who we are because they can understand us. They can feel as though they are like us, but our twin flame is the only soul that will feel as though they are the same to us, that they can know us on every level and at every layer of our being because they are us energetically at every level and at every layer because they share that exact same frequency, that same wavelength of our being. But yes, a twin flame can only in 3D, although that love at a soul level always penetrates to the core, always keeps us connected at the heart to our twin. In 3D, our twin flame will only show back, mirror back to us the love that we are showing for ourselves because they are actually our highest teacher for self-love. And what society misteaches us is that self-love is not selfish. It is actually the ultimate act of selflessness, the ultimate act to the greatest benefit of humanity, to be one who is fully self connected because when you love yourself fully deeply and completely that is when you are in harmony with the frequency of unconditional love which breaks down borders and barriers and dissolves the illusion of separation that has kept us stuck and entrapped in so many unconscious ways as a human kind a soulmate however will tend to show you more 3D love than you are showing yourself. And again, that is what makes these connections uniquely beautiful from one another. And I am absolutely not putting one connection on a pedestal above another. In fact, I highly, highly suggest that you have both a twin flame. Of course, if you are on a twin flame path, you can't help but feel connected to your twin flame, but that you also cultivate connections with soulmates. And of course, this doesn't necessarily mean romantically unless you feel guided to romantically connect with soulmates. This could be platonically developing platonic deep soul connections with platonic soulmates in your life to support you as your twin flame is so intensely awakening you and catalyzing you. In fact, this is really the ideal balance to have both your twin flame who is profoundly accelerating your soul growth while also having a group of soulmates around you to support you, to 
be in this state of mutual support with you because of course it does go both ways along this intense twin flame journey so with that being said thank you to all of you who are part of my soul family who are subscribed here to this channel we are all co-creators here on youtube and i do invite you to subscribe if you would like to join our beautiful community of co-creators here you can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. The link to the Twin Flame 7 Chakra Energy Clearing is linked in the pinned comment in description box. Otherwise, I am wishing you a beautiful, magical rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next podcast.